This is Actar's Reviews, from anime to figures and beyond. Hey, this is Actar and welcome to another episode of Actar's Figure Reviews. Today, I have another piece of Madoka merchandise to parade in front of the camera, and it is this, Movic's Karakore Witch Collection. Basically, this is a trading figure set featuring the antagonists from the Madoka series, the bizarre, the memorable, and the mysterious witches. Of course, do be warned that there will be spoilers as to the identities of the witches, which in turn might ruin some important plot twists and surprises. Uh, so for those of you who haven't seen the series yet, turn away now before it's too late. That being said, right off the bat, I have to say that I was astounded and slightly disappointed by the size of this. I was obviously aware that these were trading figures when purchasing them, but never did I think that they would be this small. I mean, just for comparison, here is a regular SH Figure Arts box and a an Nendroid Petite. That aside, the box is dark purple with stylistic patterns and flowers adorning it. Very fitting indeed. On the front and on the sides, we get to see all the figures that come in the line. Also, don't let the randomly packed phrase fool you, as one box does come with all 8 figures. Speaking of inside, we have 8 tiny boxes that have Charlotte's bigger form on top and her smaller form on the front. Lastly, we once again have the entire range of figures on the back of the box. To save time, I should only be opening this one on camera. Inside, we have the figure itself and a purple stand. So here is what you get in the set. We have Charlotte's smaller form, Charlotte's bigger form, Gertrude's minion, Anthony, Ellie's minions, Daniel and Jennifer, Ellie herself, Gertrude, Gertrude's grief seed, and last but not least, Octavia von Seckendorf, if I pronounced that correctly. Firstly, the positives. It is unequivocally great to get a set of figures featuring the witches as I believe that the designs of the witches do deserve to get their own figure renditions. Aside from Charlotte, we don't really see the other witches getting that much love. The figures are respectively detailed in both the sculpt and paint departments. Some interesting details of note would be that the backs of Ellie and Gertrude both have their respective witches kiss marks on them. And yes, Charlotte's smaller form does have a bigger form of face on her cape. Special mention to Octavia or Octavia for being the most detailed with all the molded textures that are all properly painted in. However, again, I have to say that the tiny sizes of the figures are a disappointment. I initially bought these to have them posed together with the Madoka Figma figures, and I suppose that the familiars and Charlotte's smaller form would fit okay, but the witches are simply out of the question. You know, maybe I'll pose them with the Nandroid Petites when they get released. Now, there's no mistaking that the details are good, as I said before. But I think that it could have been even better if the figures were just a little bit bigger. Honestly, I think that a slight increase in size would really do the designs justice. The second negative that I have concerns the Grief Seed. Not only is it too small to be considered a replica, the plastic that it's made of is far too soft. The tip of mine actually came horrendously bent. Lastly, I have an issue with the selection of characters. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's nice that they included the minions, but I really wish that they could have at least included all of the main witches from the series. As it is, the set is still missing Elsa Maria, you know, the shadowy one, and of course, Walpurgis Knight. Uh, take away the two minions and put those two witches in, and this set would have been perfect in my book. In conclusion, I stand by what I've been saying throughout the entirety of the review, and to reiterate, great sculpts, great details, but just far too small. 
However, that being said, they are one of the first and only figure representations of the witches. If you are a Madoka fan or a fan of the zany and otherworldly designs of the witches, I say by all means, pick these up. Just be aware of what you're getting yourself into, especially before paying the full retail price for these like I did. So, the Zags are saying, see you guys in the next episode.